When we get started on one point perspective, it is very important to start drawing cubes. So first of all, I'm gonna draw here a horizon, which is a horizontal line. This is gonna be called the horizon. And I'm gonna draw here one vanishing point. You will see the function of it now. For the cubes or boxes that we're going to draw, we're only going to need horizontal lines, vertical lines, and lines going to the vanishing point. So this is the vanishing point. So it is quite simple. I'm gonna use this ruler to draw here a square or rectangle. If you wanna use a set square and a ruler to make perfect vertical and horizontal parallel lines, that's up to you, but I'm gonna be working a little bit faster. So this is the rectangle, and now from each of these three corners, I'm gonna trace lines going to the vanishing point this way. Now here I'm gonna trace a vertical line and keep in mind it has to be vertical, it cannot be diagonal and here a horizontal line. So let's begin with the vertical line. Make sure it is vertical. And here a horizontal line. It is quite common to make here a diagonal line and that would be a mistake. It has to be horizontal, so this way. You have to imagine you're standing here, your eyes are at this height, so if there is a box here, what you would see is this side, this side, and this side. So as you see, our eyes are higher than this box, and that's why we can see the top of the box, but not the bottom. Let's make a box here, and you will see the difference. So as you know, first of all the rectangle, and now three lines going to the vanishing point. And again, vertical line. And horizontal line. As you see now, the box is higher than our eyes. So in this case, we see the bottom of the box, but not the top. As the box is on the right side, we can see this side, as it happened with this box, but we cannot see that side. I'm gonna make some more boxes. Alright, here you have some more examples. For example, in the case of this box, this is higher than our eyes, so we can see the bottom. But as it is on the other side, in this case we can see this side, we couldn't in these boxes, but we cannot see that side. In the case of this box, as it is aligned with the position where we are, we cannot see any of these sides. And in the case of this one, this is aligned with our eyes, so we cannot see either the top or the bottom, but we can see this side because it is on the left. If we drew a box here, we would only see the front side. 
And now to make it more beautiful, we're gonna imagine there is a light source here. So we're gonna shade all these sides of the boxes according to the position of the light. So for example, in the case of this box, clearly this side is gonna be dark, this one is gonna be dark as well, and this one is not gonna be that dark. In the case of this box, for example, the light is directly hitting this side, so this is gonna be very bright, this is gonna be darker, and this one is gonna be a little bit dark. And this is the idea of one point perspective drawing, try to make these boxes, try to shade them once you have finished, and super important, be patient. Bye bye!